Yes, that's my office you're looking at. Thomas Wilson, MD. I'm a doctor. Just happens I'm also a psychologist. You know, psychology, what they used to call looking in a dark closet for a black cat that isn't there. <laughs> well, me, I guess I'm looking for kittens. You see, I specialize in... Children! <laughs> Why'd he drag me in here? What's he think, I'm nuts or something? Say, do you listen to me, or are you playing with that thingamajig? This? Trout fly, Sister Kay. A gag? Mm-hmm. You know, it's a funny thing about people. The less you seem to listen, the more they talk. And I wanted you to talk, Millard, because... Millard. It's a rather unusual name, isn't it? You're telling me. Yeah, well, uh, what do the other fellows call you? I mean, what's your nickname? Millie. Can you imagine? Millie, just like a girl. Yeah, that's pretty tough. <laughs> well, what would you like to be called? Lard. <laughs> sure, what's the matter with Lard? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a very friendly name, except that I think your parents seem to feel it. They complaining again? What's the matter with parents, anyway? Confidentially, sometimes I wonder. I mean, sometimes you think parents are wrong? Sometimes. So do I. That's what I say, too. Sometimes I think parents are nuts. <laughs> I didn't exactly say that, Lard, but... Oh, yes, Miss Allen? Doctor, I'm terribly sorry to bother you, but uh, this clock is stopped, and I can't seem to get it started. Well, uh, I'm certainly no mechanic. Yeah. You know anything about clocks, Lard? Do I? Have a screwdriver around here? Why, uh, yes, I just happen to have one in my desk. Boy, let me at it. Thanks. Do you see what I mean, Doc? Do you see what I'm up against? I don't know what to do with that kid. Honest, I'm at the end of my rope. You really get you that upset, huh? Upset? Sometimes when I look at that boy, I'm sorry I ever whistled at my wife. <laughs> And you ought to see the way he eats. At the end of every meal, I have to count his fingers. <laughs> well, that could be part of the problem, Mr. Patterson. Sometimes children eat that way to satisfy emotional cravings. Well, if they do, he's got the fattest emotions in town. <laughs> and another thing, he's so darn destructive. Doc, that's not a child. That's a bulldozer with ears. <laughs> Well, that's not too unusual. Sometimes children seem destructive when we stifle their constructive tendencies. I think I can help your boy, Mr. Pettison, but I'm going to have to have your help. Me? What can I do? Well, you can try being a little more patient with the boy. Try to find out why he does things. Spend a little time with him. For instance, this afternoon. Oh, uh, not this afternoon. I can't. I'm playing golf. Mr. Patterson, I've said this many times before to many parents, and I'm going to say it again to you now. Being a father is a full-time job. You just can't quit and walk out because the whistle blows. Oh, I know. That boy's whole life can depend on what you give him, Mr. Patterson, what you give him of yourself, you and nobody else, because you're his father. Now, you uh, go ahead and play golf if you want to. I suppose I could skip it today. Uh, Miss Allen, will you send Lard Millard in, please? Believe me, Mr. Patterson, you won't regret this, and I speak to you as a father myself. All right, son. Let's go. Go? I haven't finished the clock. That clock looks pretty finished to me. <laughs> well, I need a few more minutes. I don't get many chances like this. Well, why? I'm sure you must have an old clock at home. Wouldn't you say so, Mr. Patterson? I say... I say... Yes? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Maybe I have. No fooling, you mean it? Come on, let's go. And so beginneth another lesson. And so endeth another week, thank heaven. Will you be taking any calls over the weekend? Miss Allen, this weekend I am going up to the lake to do a little uh, fishing. And I'll personally murder anybody who calls me. Oh, doctor. Oh, yes. Have a nice 
nice weekend. Will you tell me why she's always tripping like that? Well, she might have a slight case of ocularis obscura. Well, what's that mean? She doesn't look where she's going. <laughs> I declare, I've been with this family ever since you were six, and you haven't grown up one bit. When Helen gets back, tell her I couldn't wait, huh? How do I look? I think you're beautiful. <laughs> See, out of the mouths of babes come words of wisdom. Out of that babe's mouth comes nothing but teeth. <laughs> hey, Nana! Hi, Pop, gonna get some fish in there? How about my lunch? In the kitchen. Thanks! <laughs> What's he got a fever about? Twig's playing baseball this afternoon. Oh! Oh, well, look, uh, I've got to get going. Fred Davis said he was going to pick me up. Oh, what about your lunch? I haven't got time for lunch. Will you please tell me why you can't eat a sandwich? I'm getting too heavy in the first place. In the second place, too. <laughs> Kitten, will you stand these somewhere for me? And don't trip. I won't. anything to happen to those rides, you know. After all, I caught an awful lot of trout with them in their day. I know. I'll bet you caught the biggest fish in that lake. I wouldn't say that. Then who did? Daddy, who caught the biggest fish at the lake? Your mother, the summer before we were married. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Now run along, I'm busy, huh? Echo! <laughs> no damage. <laughs> Outboard motor. Tom, you here? <laughs> That's right, you're going fishing. <laughs> yeah, where are you going? Oh, silly, these are for Twig. He's playing today. <laughs> Not today, he isn't. He'll never make it. <laughs> This is very important. Right. Twig's playing with the beavers today. Oh, really? Oh, those kids are older than Twig, aren't they? Yes, three or four years. Ah, that ought to be good for his ego. That's what I said. When? You weren't listening. <laughs> well, I'd better get on my horse. Oh, you taking that too? <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> By the way, what position is he going to play? Oh, I won't know till Danny Robinson calls me. Uh, Danny's the captain or something. What does he have to call you about? To let me know if Twig is going to play. You mean he's not set? Well, not officially. Yeah, but Helen, he expects to play. Why, well, he's all excited about it. It could be a terrible emotional shock now, if darling, the kid doesn't... please, get... Twig is going to play. I've just this minute come from Alma's. Alma's? Alma Robinson. She's Danny's mother. Look, honey, I haven't got time for riddles right now. Fred Davis will be mad if I'm late and besides... Thomas, you wanted light or dark. Want what? Your sandwich. You want it on white or rye? I don't want any sandwich. Then I'll make it on white. We've got more of that. <laughs> you see, there I was at Alma Robinson's. And by the way, she wants us for dinner tonight, so I'll have your gray suit print. Honey, not tonight. I'm going fishing. Oh, well, that was just in case. <laughs> anyway, what's this got to do with Twig? Well, that's the whole thing. What? You see, there I was at Alma Robinson's when Danny came in. And he took one look at these bases and things that I'd bought Twig, and he got all red in the face, and he said... And Twig's just got to play in the game. How did you know? <laughs> mm, brother, what an operator you are. How do you dream up a deal like this, you know? I couldn't think of anything like it in a million years. Darling... You're a psychologist. 
I'm a woman. Has some bat. Comes complete with built in homers. What's the matter, Twig? Don't you like it? Sure, I like it fine, but. Oh, but what, son? Gosh, Pop, it's pretty heavy. You think I can swing a bat like this? Oh, of course you can. Why, when I was your age, I swung a bat that was heavier than that. It's just a matter of rhythm, that's all. Yeah, I know. But I haven't got the beef. I bet Daddy didn't always have the beef either. <laughs> You're so right. Twig, I bet your father can teach you how to rhythm. What? Yeah! Course. We can hit some out on the lawn. Come on! No! Well, naturally, he's playing today. But, honey, I'm all loaded to go. Dr. Wilson, how many parents have I heard you tell? Being a father is a full time job, and you can't just quit and walk out because, well, because you're loaded. <laughs> Well, I guess you have to take these things as they come. Huh? Hot or mild? What? Mustard. You want hot or mild on your sandwich? I don't want any sandwich. I don't want any mustard. Then maybe I'll put ketchup on. Goes better with cold lamb anyway. <laughs> Helen, will you tell her once and for all it? Pop, come on. It's getting late. You're telling me. Go on out. I'll be out in a minute. Me too. I want to uh, watch. Look, Helen, can't the batting practice wait? Fred Davis will be out there in a minute. Twig's out there right now. It... But, yeah, but you don't even know whether Twig's going to play or not. Your Danny boy hasn't called yet. He will. Hello, Danny. <laughs> All settled? Oh, that's wonderful. Twig's going to be so happy. What? What? Oh, I see. What? Well, certainly. Yes, I'm sure he'd be glad to. Glad. All right, Danny. Thank you. Bye. You're glad to what? What have you angled twig in the now? Darling, is your blue suit pressed? Blue suit? Gray suit? What's the difference? I won't be needing a suit tonight. Oh, it isn't for tonight. Oh. It's for this afternoon. <laughs> See, the Beavers have decided that since they're going to have bases, they really ought to have an umpire, too. And no. Since none of the other fathers are free... No. Guess you're the only full-time father around. Oh, no. Oh, yes. And eat it. <laughs> Believe me, Phil, I wouldn't ask just anyone, you know. Well, I'd give my right arm to umpire that game this afternoon. It's just that I'm all tied up. I... Oh, you are too, huh? With your kid? Yeah. Say, Phil, supposing I got the kid in the game, huh? Can he run? Can he hit? Can he pitch? Can he... Nine? Well, that's just the right age. He... Oh, nine months. <laughs> no, that's all right, Phil. No, forget it. I'll get somebody. Uh, thanks anyway. Goodbye. Hey, Pop, you coming out? In a minute. Gosh, you said that 20 minutes ago. Well, I'm saying it again, and if you don't stop pestering me, I'm not coming out at all. Tom! And you too, you... Oh, friend, friend. <laughs> Be right out, friend. <laughs> Uh, honey, do you have to? What if you want to wear this suit tonight? I don't want to wear that suit tonight. I don't want to wear any suit tonight. Sounds exciting. Shall I sell tickets? Oh. <laughs> I'd like to get a hold of the tailor. Do you have many more calls to make? A lot of them. All the Z's. We only have one Z's, Barney Zeman. Barney Zeman. Hey, he owes me ten bucks. Ten dollars? Since when? Four months ago, Tuesday, the 25th. Tom, you didn't just hand him ten dollars. Oh, oh, with Barney, you don't hand him anything, honey. He knocks you down and takes it away from you. Why, he's the worst moocher I ever... Hello, Barney! <laughs> uh, hiya, fella. Tom! Well, I haven't seen you around. I was wondering if... You owe me ten bucks? <laughs> You're kidding. Somebody is. 
Uh, no, no, that, that was Helen. She said to send you her love. Uh, Barney, look, forget that ten bucks. Say, would you like to have a little fun this afternoon? You see, the kids are having a ball game, and they need an umpire to... Oh, dental appointment at 3 o'clock. Yeah, I understand. Uh, Barney. Barney, I know the money doesn't mean anything to you, but it certainly would mean a great deal to me if you could change your appointment. You think you can? W will you try? Yeah, wait right here. You call me back. Okay, buddy. Goodbye. Mr. at the phone. Yeah. No! <laughs> Don't look at me. I just came into dust. <laughs> oh. Now, see here, young man. Oh, not Nana. Not now. Please. Daddy, you better hurry. Twig's getting nervous. Well, you tell him I'm getting nervous, too. Hello, Barney. Boy, that was fast. Did you cancel the appointment? No, 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 Doc. This is Patterson. Oh. Oh, Mr. Patterson. Look, Doc, I want to ask you something. Suppose you cure the kid, but I go nuts. <laughs> you know what you told me about that clock? Oh, the clock? Well, this is just the beginning. We're trying to get to the root of the boy's problem, and certainly it can't do any harm letting him take apart an old clock. Our grandfather clock? <laughs> Uh, Mr. Patterson, uh, please believe me, this is vital. Promises kept are the basis of faith. And, yes, and please remember what I told you about patience. That's the key to the whole situation. Patience, especially with children. No, not at all. Call any time. Goodbye. Hey, Pop, how about it? Stop that shouting! We got neighbors, you know! <laughs> hey, Tom, what are you doing? I'm picking strawberries! <laughs> Hold it, Fred. I'll be right out. Just a minute. <laughs> hey, Pop, are we In gonna... a minute. That's right, boy. Don't hurry. The fishing season doesn't end till next month. Well, where's your gear? Fred, I, I ran into a little complication. Oh, trouble with a little woman, huh? Yeah. Boy, any time I'm going fishing, I stay strictly away from my house. Yeah. How long will you be? Well, well, just a minute. Oh, hey, wait. Huh? Take a look at my new rod, will you? <laughs> oh, boy. Hey. Just feel the whip in this, huh? Boy, that's a beauty. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Huh? Yeah? Uh. <laughs> All that. Mm. <laughs> Here. Oh. Get it down. <laughs> Look, Fred. Fred, you'll never get it down that way. Here, let me, let me, let me get it down for you, boy. Here, hold that. Here we are. Ah. <laughs> oh, fine. You know, that's just what I've always wanted. A collapsible rod. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got a couple of rods in the house. I'm going to get one. No, I've got my old one at home. I'll go get it. Pop, you're going to do it now? Well, sure. That's why I came out here, didn't I? Well, yeah. oh. doesn't seem heavy. It does to me. Well, look, not if you swing it right, Twig. Stand over there and watch me. Now. <laughs> you know, that bat is a little heavy. Uh, here. Well. Now, ask Twig. He knows all about it. <laughs> For me, Barney, did he catch this? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I've got it. What? what? Yes, Barney, I'll tell him. He's standing right here. What? What? Bye. Well, he managed to cancel his dentist appointment, and that leaves him free this afternoon. Great! So his wife's making him clean out the attic. <laughs> What's the matter, Daddy? More trouble? None more. Just bigger.
<laughs> you want to know something, kitten? Sometimes I, I think I'd rather be anything than a father. I know, Daddy. So would I. <laughs> Gee, Pop, I thought you came in to answer it. Hello? Yeah, this is Twig. What do you mean my father can't do it? Are you trying to say my father's a cheat? Yeah. Well, even if I'm in the game, it wouldn't make a bit of difference. Who is it? It's Danny. Yeah. Danny Robinson. Yeah. He says he's talked to the other team, and they don't want you to umpire the game. They don't? <laughs> well, uh... They say if I'm playing, you wouldn't call him fair. Well, that's ridiculous. Your father wouldn't cheat. Who says so? That's <laughs> ridiculous. That's what I've been trying to tell him, Mom. You hear that, Danny? Hear what she says? And Mom's the one that ought to know. She's been living with Pop for... Mom? How long have you been living with them? What's well, the difference? <laughs> and besides, he knows the game. He played it in college. You ought to see him swing a bat. <laughs> what? You mean that? What? On the level? What? They say it's either you or me. If you umpire, I don't play. If I play, you don't umpire. It's okay, Danny. You'll play. Goodbye. Daddy, are you really going fishing? Really, definitely, and without reservation. You put the rods in the car for me, will you, honey? mechanical genius. Boss, Whatever gave you the idea there was anything wrong with him? <laughs> and never mind, I, I just dropped in to tell you I won't be bothering you anymore this weekend. Oh, you won't? No. Hey, Lars. Hiya, Doc. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going fishing. <laughs> well, let's get with it, son. Tom, I'm sorry. Oh, I can always get a new rod. What I'm worried about is Kit. What will Fred Davis say? You won't like it, sonny boy. <laughs> well, you fixed me up all right. Oh, you're doing it wholesale now. Fred, I had an accident. Well, for two cents, I'd let you have another one. What happened, Fred? What happened? I go home to get my rod. Instead of that, my wife gets me. Now I've got a little job to do, a job that's going to take all afternoon. But, Fred, do you have to do that job today? Oh, no, I could do it tomorrow morning. But the kids are playing ball this afternoon. And guess who's going to be the umpire? <laughs> what are you going to do now? Do? What can I do? Let's go to the ball game and root for Twig. Huh? <laughs> 